<laughs> Thanks, Frank. Uh, all right, welcome back to the Dry as Hell podcast. I'm joined to here today with Frank, Jason, I'm John, Tyler, and and Ella. My name's Tyler Hooden. How the hell are you? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's right. You heard it here first. Okay. <laughs> all right, We've been man. lying to you all along. Now he's going to get swatted. Yeah. yeah. All right, roll intro music. You are now listening to the Dry as Hell podcast with Tyler and Jason. <laughs> honestly, listening to the dry as the- <laughs> <laughs> honestly though, thank you, Frank, for making that. Wait, 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 wait. Is anyone drinking with me tonight or not? No, no. I was drinking a sprite as we speak. Hold on. Drinking? You wait. Are you gonna? Are you, wait, you are gonna drink with me? Yeah, I have like quarter of a bottle of vodka left. Okay. Oh, because oh, no, oh, she the going last, hard. Oh, the last podcast we did. The whole time that Tyler was trying to do the intro, I was literally sitting there doing this. Yeah. ASMR. <laughs> That's some good Bud Light. Hey, I need Bud Light to sponsor me already. I've, I buy way too much of their, their beer. I'd be like Post Malone, if I can sponsor. That dude probably gets free Bud Light the rest of his life. Oh, probably. No doubt. I don't have any chasers, so we're just drinking from Ooh, the bottle. Oh, fuck oh. the chaser. <laughs> All right. Here oh. We go. All right. Shit, this is cold. All right. Um, she just goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't know if I could do this without a chaser. Just slams the whole fucking body. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, All right. Anyways, let me get my drink in, and then let's start talking. Okay. Let's start talking. Right, let's start. I'm ready. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 let's fucking do this. All right. <laughs> Whoa, Wait, that's how which ready I am. Was that? Yeah, that's how ready <laughs> I am. It's a soundboard. Bro, I told you that right? second one sounds so real. It does. It sounds wet. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. It sounds wet. <laughs> okay, now do the first one. Do the first one. Sounds <laughs> right, Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait. So Tyler, take it away. Um. So uh, what 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 um uh, um. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, Jason, Sorry. take it away. Uh, oh, well, t- today's news. Um... <laughs> wait, so my thing is, like... It's dark outside. Guys, like, I, like are we, wait, whoa, I need to fucking speak English for a sec. Give me one sec. Um, do you guys have anything you guys want to, like, start with, or... Uh, well, we can... One, we can the um... number one topic? We can start with the elephant in the room. Um, how's everyone dealing with this whole crisis thing that's happening? <laughs> what crisis thing? This, um, I've the, just been chilling at home. The COVID-19 I've played games all day thing? today. Oh, yeah. yeah me, I, dude, dude yeah. my brother's got to work seven days on, seven days off in a row. Oh, my gosh. Oof. What does he do? He does the same thing as me, except he's at a he's at a data building. Okay, wait a minute. How is he doing? Data. Seven days on, oh, seven days on, seven days off. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said seven days, and then like he just keeps going on. Seven. I was gonna say, how the fuck is this <laughs> now? Twenty four hours, days. seven days a week. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm doing nine to five. So, okay, so my thing with, I mean, obviously, Jason, you understand too because you're type your union, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't stop. Um, that's like to be honest, I haven't really even. Paid well, I I could see the railroads are you know they they need to stay open. I'm I'm in a fucking health clinic, like a a patient uh, whatever center, outpatient mm-hmm. center. So we can't shut down either. Yeah, and same dude, with my work. Just the amount of stuff I've done the past two weeks to. To like get the building ready for this, it's a uh, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I thought there was gonna be some um, shit. Like I thought it was gonna go way worse for us. But like the only thing that's happened to us because like we have to we act we have to keep working is um we're doing like scattered shifts and shit like that where like half of our crew starts at uh, six and ends at two thirty and then the other half starts at eight a.m. and gets off at four four thirty and I'm eight a.m. which is kind of cool because I mean I have a shit sleep schedule so that'll work out for me. But, like, 
I don't know. I, I feel like coronavirus is such a, like, I'm not saying it's not real, but I feel like it's such a, like, social media blew it up bigger than it needed to be type thing. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. Like, like, the crazy thing is, like, have you seen, like, what's been going on with, like, the world and, like, nature itself ever since we shut down businesses? Oh, man, it's yeah. been blooming. Everything's been yeah, so much everything beautiful. Everything's fucking coming back. Like, dolphins were showing back up in, like, fucking water. Like, uh, in certain areas that haven't been around forever. Like, it's crazy. I was like, dude, this thing was, yeah. like, like, Mother Nature spitting back at us. Like, fuck you guys. Here's a virus. Since you guys don't want to fucking fix this shit, I have to do it now. And the way I'm going to do it is by getting you guys not to be able to leave your fucking houses. Yeah, I agree. People's like hygiene in general. People have just been taking Gross. showers all of a sudden and freaking. Dude, that's thing, like the thing. With and the finally like, the flu, washing like, hands. Yeah, like the flu, like the cases of like people getting the flu has gone down like mm-hmm. drastically in like the past like week. Like it's as base, it's as, it's as simple as fucking washing your hands and washing your fucking asshole. You'll be fine. Like, <laughs> but I have a question. Scrub that fucking booty, boy. Yeah, dude, you gotta put the soap in your butt, dude. All right, Ella, what's oh, your question? Geez. If it's airborne, does washing your hands do anything? Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. So that's, that's airborne not... shit. It's saying airborne for three hours at least, but that's oh, like really? if someone that has it around you, like coughs, coughs. that virus yeah. can float in there. That's with anything that could happen. But it's like, it's water droplets. That's literally like the same as like people are going around wearing them fucking like like surgeon doctor masks, oh. and they don't do anything. They like if you're sick. Like, you should be wearing them if you're sick, because then if you're, like, coughing you in that mask, that it won't spread. But if you're trying to prevent it from coming to you, that doesn't work that way. Exactly. People don't understand yeah. that. Like, the other day, I was driving down fucking Harlem, and I look next to me, and some dude's in, like, a fucking full getup. Like, it looks like he just came out of doing an open-heart surgery on somebody. Like, had the mask, <laughs> had, like, the fucking, like, the skirt gown thing on, and, like, like gloves up to his elbows. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like... <laughs> Trust me, you're you you probably have coronavirus from sitting in your '78 Honda Civic that has mold in the backseat. <laughs> you had fucking dude. three out of four of your tires were fucking spares. I'm sure that thing has plenty of viruses in it. Corona is the least of your your concerns. But yeah, it, but it's going back to the whole work thing. Um, because we distribute medical supplies. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm being loud as fuck over here. That's that's fine. <laughs> but because we we distribute medical supplies, we um. We have to stay open. We actually got a um, letter that I have to carry with me whenever I drive to and from I, work. I have one of those too. I have one of those too. Yeah, yeah. yeah they um they didn't give us that at work. They pretty much told us that they um you know we, we have to just tell the police if we get like pulled over or something that we have to we go like we're going to like an essential business um yeah. because I work at a warehouse that literally well they should all they should products. yeah they should also print you out a letter that's what my work did mm-hmm. that's what my work did too it's they'll it's, probably do it on Monday if anything because uh, yeah we didn't we didn't get anything well that's the, okay wait. The, what I think is that letter, that letter shit doesn't even matter right now because that letter is for if we went on statewide lockdown where, like, no yeah. one was allowed to leave their houses. But, like, when J.B. Pritzker came out on the news, he pretty much told us to keep doing what we're already doing, where, like, the, the basic-ass, like, stores and, like, dine and restaurants aren't going to be open. drive throughs will be open. Like, stores that sell essential needs will be open. And, like, you're still able to go outside and walk your dog and da-da-da. Like, nothing fucking changed. Police are still on um, a low-level threat thing. So, like, if they, they're not pulling people over, really. Um, if you call in for some dumb shit, like, oh, my window's broken, they'll fucking, like, they'll be like, yeah, I'll write a report or we'll write a report. They're not coming out for anything. But, this is a bad timing, like, but I have to cough. Oh, I no. can't believe oh. it. Everyone leave. Uh, Everyone uh, leave. Uh, <laughs> you just see all of us in chat just get out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should make, like, do you know how we have general and then podcast time, baby? We should make one that says quarantine and fucking drop her down in there. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> force her into it. Yeah. But, um, but so, speaking like, of gotta... quarantine, though, my, um, my dad thinks he has the uh, COVID-19. Okay, yeah. my thing is, I had it already. We talked about it last podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, ha- I had it already. So, like, most people have probably already had it, but don't even notice they had it. But yeah. I still think, because I'm into, like, like, fucking conspiracies and shit like that, I still think that this is, a, this is like, like, the government's way of pushing, marsh- like, uh, martial law without us even noticing. 
I don't know if you guys know what martial law yeah, is. They they posted something on Facebook saying that, you know, it was like a hoax thing, but they were saying yeah. about the martial law and there was a video of them bringing in like a lot of like military. Dude, dude, every time, every time I post something about hoaxes like that and shit, the, the fucking Facebook deletes it within first five minutes and they block it from my page to where I can't. I mean, post. I believe it. Yeah. Because they like, just don't this want, is my thing. So like know. the reason why I think that it's like going into effect, which granted like the, like the National Guard is out here already. Um, but fucking dude, the other day I was driving down Cicero, like right past me and Jason's house and, um, I'm on my way back and cause I was going into like country club bills and shit like that. But I was on my way back, like heading towards our house and like, I'm stopped at 167th and Cicero, like that light right there and fucking three like SWAT vehicles go driving past. Like the ones where it's like you open the back door and like you can fit a bunch of people in it, like a bunch of like. SWAT members, SWAT bands, like that. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm like, yo, like that's fucking. That was like, that's like dope as shit. But like, uh, I was like, oh, like that's dope as fuck. And then as I was sitting there looking, it said Oak Forest Police Department on it. Oh. Why the fuck was it Oak Forest Police Department? Um, I don't know. Uh, it could be because maybe no either. martial law, bro. They're militarizing our fucking police. Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? It, it's like, you know, I would, I wouldn't say it's too early to tell what's happening, but we're kind of like in full effect of like everyone freaking out already, and just everything is just hitting the fan, just going everywhere. So I mean, I think it could get worse. It could get better. Like that also, not to cut you off, Frank, but that also might be in effect just in case that people start rioting. That's true. You know, maybe certain areas are like high crime areas where like if the coronavirus is, you know, affecting that area or something, they don't want people running around, start looting and, you know, like doing crimes more. I don't know. Maybe it's just. No, it makes sense. It makes it makes a lot of sense. That's the thing. Where I feel like it is like a precautionary thing because you never know what could happen. And like, think about it. Like, and I think it makes a lot of sense because I went out the other day with one of my buddies to buy more ammunition for my firearm. Granted, overpriced as fuck right now. But, um. We, um, what was it? Oh my God, I'm drifting off in thoughts. Oh, sorry. Um, like what I was thinking is like, it does make sense because like, imagine like if you were like, say like you had kids and a wife and shit, right? And then you get sent home saying that you can't work. So you can't get paid. You can't pay your bills. People are mass buying shit to where you don't have, like you can't get anything now. And the next thing you know, like, what are you going to do? You're going to do anything you fucking can to be able to make like to support your family and some people do that by doing risky shit like you know breaking into someone's house you know like anything can happen yeah that's true yeah. and i mean when um when they were coming out like saying uh about the checks and stuff how like we're gonna be getting those checks in like the next well, couple weeks yeah, or something the, the thousand, it, well that's the thing is apparently like for families he's sending more than a thousand dollars yeah it's like if it's a if it's a household of four or more you get three thousand and then if it's less you get a thousand or twelve hundred i don't I, know what it is exactly and I, but. and I think that goes to the head of the house yeah i'll believe that yeah. when when the checks oh uh, yeah i'll it, believe it exactly. when i see it i don't see yeah. any of this shit happening see, but the thing about that though just real quick is like you know even though like you know, we might get this, you know, we might get the checks and everything, you know, like we can use that money for, you know, emergency stuff that's happening. Like you think I'm of it, it for um, drugs. I just <laughs> hope the people who need it first get it first. Well, yeah, yeah. that's well, that thing is it'll come out all as at once. So it just depends on like, I'm pretty sure they do it off like a, could be like your last name, they could be by last name. Your social term. security, social they have security, your tax all, returns. Yeah, all that shit. So, so and it could be a lot. I hope I like because they were saying like families that are four or more are getting like three or four thousand dollars if it happens, which is fucking amazing because that is a good amount of money to be able to like pay like rent or mm -hmm. go and buy groceries. But like the thing is like people are freaking out about it, but like they did like a whole like the government switched up the whole like uh, like filing for unemployment thing because it's a crisis right now where like people that are out of work for two weeks for like this like shit going on they're allowed to file for unemployment and get the money i've yeah. been trying to though and the website keeps going down because it's so full like yeah, i, I went from two jobs to zero there's a lot of like traffic on it seconds. yeah so i still haven't been able to file and trying to call them you'll never get a real yeah. person that's it's like yeah. like i said like if it honestly like if it wasn't for social media this shit wouldn't be this crazy but it was an eye-opener i'm not saying like this isn't a bad thing it is affecting other countries more than 
infecting us. Granted, it's we're having a lesson a lot, for we're, most we're having we're having a lot of people get infected by it. Don't get me wrong, but at least we're not like look at Italy. Italy had almost three hundred people plus die in one day because of it. Yeah, yeah. One day, and people were getting quarantined and locked in their houses with dead relatives. And did you guys see that video? Like yeah. some, some fucking famous like Italian actor was locked in this house for fucking like thirty six hours with his dead sister. And he, like, well, maybe, posted a video uh, of it. And they just, can't have a funeral for, like, over a month because you can't have a group of people get together. You can't have more than 10 people at a funeral. Anything, so, anything. At least in our state, you can't have more. Or, no, it's United States wide, I think, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah, it's a whole U.S. Um, more than 10 people, that's crazy. And, and the thought that I had with this whole check thing, going back to that just real quick, like, oh, it's no. also it's also kind of, like, scary because everyone knows. Like, if those checks actually come to us and, like, it's a legit thing, people know that, like, the person next door, the person across the street, like, everyone's getting a check. So I feel like, you know, it's going to cause crime. Like people. No, are gonna, because like, I feel like the check will be – the check has to be made out to somebody – so yeah. I think if they're getting sent to your household, it will be made out to someone, so that check will not be able to go anywhere else. Because it's, it'd be um, different it'd be if like, it was just cash. Yeah, it could say like to, like oh, it won't me, be for cash, example. Yeah, yeah. it'd be like to the Baker residence. Like that's. Oh, I see what you're saying. Or, or yeah, yeah. Like, like to that, you individual. Like the soul, that individually or the sole house owner. Like if they're doing it based off like the owner of like a house, like you know what I mean. Like it could be like that where it's like my stepdad would get it for all of us because it would be like three thousand dollars plus. Or if they are doing it individually, like each person that's in that household would get one. So they're it'd be made out to your name. It's not a blank fucking check with that just has a thousand dollars and you fill out the rest. Oh fuck no! I'd be I'd be walking mailbox to mailbox as we speak. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I'd be fucking thirty thousand dollars richer in five minutes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's <laughs> not do that. <laughs> the government's listening in right now. Like I. <laughs> Ladies and oh. gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> we got him. See, this we is why I don't like podcasts because you record what people say and then we can hold listen, that against they the listen. court. They fucking That's listen risky. To, they listen to everything. As you do. Every <laughs> fucking phone call, everything you're doing on the internet, they're already watching. That's if why I'm like... A, if the only reason why they like they would ever need the need to pay attention to you because they're not literally watching. But the only way they'd ever pay attention to you is if like you were doing shit that may, like, brought yourself out as a risk. Like If you were posting like fucking isis videos on your facebook constantly they kind of start watching you like shit oh, like that like yeah that's when they pay attention and that's like oh fuck. but other than that like if you're just doing a normal day shit that isn't fucking suspicious like how to make a fucking bomb in five minutes type shit on youtube like they don't <laughs> care about you they exactly exactly yeah probably so, like notice right, like ooh. Can... no yeah, we can uh we can switch up the topic so you all know right. we can we can do something different so I was thinking, um, you know, since most of us, or I think, yeah, most of us, were born in, like, the 90s. Um, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Christ. Okay, I won't classify myself as a 90s baby. Because I was 97. Or, yeah, you're, oh, you were 97? Yeah, yeah like, I mean, I, I, I was 98, but shit. So what, 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 are you, what are you trying to go in with? Here. Well, I was just going to say, so, like, what were, like, some things that you remember that were just, like, really cool back then that, like, you wish that... Could... One note I remember when I was a kid. Sure. Let's go. What is it? My dad beating my mom. Dude, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Y'all are laughing. I'm not. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, wait. One note I can do that, though. Like, not the whole beating thing. I'm joking. But with, um, like, like, as, like, not even, like, in the 90s remembering, but, like, had, like, going on that subject of, like, when you were, like, a kid. Do you know how, like, you can't remember shit from, like, your your ninth birthday party, right? Yeah. Like you can remember shit from way back when. I remember it had to be between the age of one and three. Okay, I don't remember exactly. It might have been. It was around that time. My mom would be able to fucking tell you guys. But I remember being in the like the first apartment my mom and dad had together. They were, they were together. I remember every fucking corner of that apartment. I remember oh. I, everything. It was fucking weird. But I remember my birthday cake from my birthday during that time and it was a fucking like little circle cake with like these plastic race cars on it like the fact that i can remember that but i can't tell you something i did two weeks ago blows my fucking mind dude it's it's crazy that you say that because i i had kind of like a similar experience and it's probably gonna sound like really crazy 
But pretty much what, what John was saying, like, you know, between, like, maybe the age of, like, one and three, I, I just vaguely remember, like, it, it's it's still, like, vivid pretty much in my in my head, you know, of, like, that memory, but I remember, like, like I was crawling. Like, I was actually, like, you know, a Whoa, baby. crawling. A baby. That's crazy. <laughs> Insane. <was> baby. <laughs> and, um, you know, I remember uh, just, like, crawling through, like, the, the apartment that we were in with my family and stuff, and um just kind of like you know like uh, i was like really tiny so i was of course looking up to everyone and i just remember that just so like vividly and i i you know i don't know what happened after that but i don't know why but that just stuck with me and i and i can't seem to figure out like like how exactly like it's just look crazy yo honestly if we're gonna talk about like i want to go into like your great like like one greatest memory you have from being a kid um one of my funniest, I'll go one of my funniest memories ever, ever. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking embarrassing, but I don't care. Um, when I first moved in this cul-de-sac that I live in now, that I've been in for almost 20 years, um, fucking, like, our, like moving in day, it had to be like our first week in the house. I um, walked over to my neighbor's house, right? And I was like outside playing or whatever I did. And I had I had, to, I had to go boom boom really bad, and I um. What's boom boom, dude? I I had to shit really fucking oh, badly. Oh, cool. Thank and you. And I dropped my pants and fucking fluted <laughs> all over the neighbor's driveway, like the like a fucking it looked like a horse stable with how much fucking bodily shit came out you're of me. You're sick, dude. You're so you're. Was it on an episode of Jackass? It should have been, honestly, but you know. Okay, can I can I just like bring something out real quick, Jason? What are you doing? Why can you hear my keys clicking? Yes, I can. We yes, everything. we've been sending messages to you to tell you to. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I got twenty dollars. Says he's playing. I play Warframe. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, no, we were we heard every. Hey guys, like, wait, 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 wait a minute, guys, 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 wait a minute. Who I was trying to be quiet. You guys should have just turned it down, dude. You guys should have told me instead of messaging me. I'm not paying attention to play Warframe, dude. Oh. I'm trying to, trying to be slick and do pay. both while you guys were talking about the COVID-19 thing. No, I totally understand, but I was like, yeah, I was like, oh my god. I was like, I, <laughs> I was <Warframe."> hearing it. <laughs> I didn't want to be that person, so I just left it as it is. I was like, it's not too bad, but... Like, it's not too bad, but like, I was just sitting there. Like, I saw the messages coming. I'm like, Jason's not paying attention to it. Jason's playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, John goes, Jason. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I'm like, Jason. Hey, stop when you're when you're, when you're uh, when you're the co-host of a podcast and does nothing but play games while doing the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, dude. I just downloaded this game and I'm invested in it. <laughs> Not okay, sponsored. You can't invest one hour of your day to do this. Hey, listen, spend one Jason. hour talking to us. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm multitasking here. Come you're, on, you're, I'll get with the program. John, Jason, you, you're gonna you're gonna. Put like a hundred hours into that game, and then it's you're gonna sit there and be like, "I'm only like five percent into this." It's okay, dude, because I the game that game is kind of crazy. The game is super good. Don't get me wrong. Me and Frank played it for like fucking months, yeah. but like we got to a point where we're like, "Oh man, like we haven't even scratched the fucking surface." I'm gonna beat the whole game in a day. Do it. <laughs> good luck. Good luck trying to get past. Good, good luck trying to get past like crafting and stuff because that's real time. <laughs> dude, I already did it, dude. I crafted it. Yeah, he he crafted oh, the game, you know? dude. He made yeah, the exactly. John's with the program. Oh, One big man brain. army. Big brain. And um, unless you unless you invest like five grand into it, you're, you're you you won't be able to beat it any day. You All have right. five grand. Let's go back into this so we don't lose well, track. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. What's your um? What would be like your your greatest at least childhood memory you have? All right. So Tyler, go. Um, my earliest childhood memory. I would. I'm not even. I'm not even on earliest. I'm like, what's like? What's like, like the most memory? memorable? Yeah. Like, what, when you were a memorable, kid. Memorable, funny, like something um, that just like keep like I stuck with you. When me and my brother went to summer camp. Probably. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. Okay. Oh, that one time in band camp. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, but 
it was probably I, like I was super excited to go at first, and my brother was like, he like we got to the place, and my parents went to go drop us off, and like I got out, and I was like, blah blah blah, like a little kid dropped you off at the corner and left. Yeah, so see you later. Well, and then on top of it too, (laughs) this is diabetic summer camp. Oh, I knew it. I wanted to say something, but I didn't want to be mean. I wanted to say something. When you said when you said they dropped you off, I wanted I wanted to be like, well, see you later, diabetic. (laughs) (laughs) Diabetic summer camp. For for the record. For the record, whoever is you know listening to the podcast, we we joke around with Tyler a lot, so it's you know. And if you haven't, if you don't know, it doesn't. Make it okay I fucking hate it. It doesn't you know. make it okay at all. If you yeah. if you if you guys don't know, I am a uh, type one diabetic, and I have been what ever since I was six years old. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. But anyway, so Just... we we got dropped or got dropped off, and like my brother was like hiding in the, like the back of my expedition. <laughs> Like, he's like, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. The back of your expedition? You were driving at that age? You had a car at six? Damn. Well, it turned into my car. When I turned 16, it was my first car. He was hugging the, or he was hugging the accelerator. (laughs) He was hugging the exhaust. (laughs) I stuck my head in the exhaust. He had his mouth around the muffler. Took that whole bitch down. But, uh, but yeah, so... Like, he, he honestly didn't want to go and stuff. And then by the time, like, we were going through it, and uh, I, think it was, I think it was, like, Wednesday. It was a week long. Um, and uh, it was Wednesday or something. And, like, in the middle of the night, I, I had to go to the bathroom, and we had to take a buddy with us. And uh, it, it was, like, in the middle of the forest, too. Tyler pissed on his <laughs> <laughs> No, Tyler made actually, his brother wipe his ass. No, 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 no. <laughs> My brother was in a different cabin. So oh, like, oh, it, it, like oh, yeah. Different Kevin. Who was your roommate? Uh, they were roommates. <laughs> anyway, so we had like he had to like go and stuff with us, and like it was just weird. But like I remember, and this has to go back to what we were talking about last week with like you know like spiritual stuff because like, this is the only reason why I remember this like so vividly. Um, and uh, like you ever. John, you probably know about this, but um, like, ever see like eight foot long or big like shadow figures with hoods? Yeah, the KKK. No, 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 black time. hoods, Whoa. black hoods. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. What, what even are we doing? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. Why? Why do you assume okay, John's wait, been through wait. the same shit? No, I wait. No, because he. Just... I'm sorry. Okay, now that I drifted off by jokingly, what were you actually saying? Was something about what? <laughs> I just like, heard. I'm sure John knows about the hooded men. That's all I heard. I, right. The eight foot, like hooded men with like. Slenderman. Like it, uh, like that, almost well, like Slenderman Slender isn't hooded. But so you're talking yeah. like shadow figures. Yeah, like it was like a shadow okay, figure. Okay, wait. Okay, so the shadow. Stop, stop! 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 Um. You fool. Hey, no, should no, I get? No, wait, no. should I get? Wait, wait, wait! Shh. Got this up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, um, want me to get mom on on that subject? Um, uh, and the shadow figure. If yeah, you want. yeah. If you want, like, yeah. I'm sure my mom has like a good, a good answer on that because I don't. I think she would though. But you've activated my trap card. Okay, give me, I'm give me pulling. One, give oh me, my um, god. Give me, give me five seconds. Literally five. Yeah, seconds. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh anyway guys they give context and what you guys can see or not well you guys can't see this but they're sending gifts to another um <laughs> and, okay guys i i'm back i'm back okay, so guys, okay. is- um all right. I, I grabbed mom for oh, you no. tyler all right say hi, mom. hello hi. mom <laughs> um <laughs> So, okay, wait, you said you were, I'm just going to tell her because I have phones on and then she can just give you an answer. Okay. Um, so you, you were, you were saying that you went out the bathroom and you saw them in like IRL while you were in the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, or, like um, we were like so, traveling to the bathroom and then like, I saw them in the woods, like Tyler, looking back. We're talking about, we're talking about like our like most memorable childhood memory, right? And we're all telling our stories and then Tyler gets on it about being at summer camp and it was like. He had to go to the bathroom, and he was traveling with someone. Like, was it's like you guys are traveling to the woods? We were traveling to the bathroom, which is like, 
like it, the whole camp is like in the woods. So like, so in other words, so summer camp, you're in the woods, right? Yeah. Tyler's asking me because I personally don't know it. He was asking me if I knew anything about like eight foot tall, like hooded people, like dark, like black, shadow. like shadow people. Yeah, that's what Ooh. that's what I was gonna say she too. Knew. So hold on, hold on. So because I, I was gonna say shadow people also, but like, isn't couldn't that have been like cult like though or no? Like if you think about it, like hooded, like why would they be hooded? Yeah, like I more of a solid figure or was it more? It was it. It was like a. It was like a solid. Like you can tell that it was like a person. <laughs> he, said, he said it was like a solid. <laughs> he, he was six. He was fucking six. What the fuck, Tyler? Are you smoking okay. dope at age six? <laughs> no. Pass the marinara, Tyler. Pass the marinara. <laughs> Um, I was thinking like some co- well, I'm sure being six, you have a more of a vivid imagination. You probably saw some guy out there. He, it was hey, it was this it was this hey, it was this camp counselor performing sex rituals <laughs> on all the little boys. <laughs> I was I was thinking like like if it was like like the other side like spiritual activity type shit that like it'd be like cult shit. Like, I mean, unless like he legit walked past he a cult, legit walked past like, like a, a cult. Seance. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. possibly have seen a seance going on, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, I have no idea. The only thing I remember was like I, we saw that, and like me and the kid that I was with, we saw that, and like so, and we just like ran to the bathroom and like kind of like Light. hidden there. Wait, so you both saw it? Yeah, we both saw it. Okay, you guys probably legit saw like a real life seance going on. Oh. Well, I, I, okay, a ritual. Yeah, because if you guys both saw it, like, I, I'm not saying that two people can't see the same spiritual activity at once. But they have the same memory. But, like, they you guys have, have if you have the same memory, or, like, it's not like, oh, we're going ghost hunting and we both heard a noise. Like, if you guys are both walking and both fucking saw that shit, like, solid objects, you saw some shit going on. Yeah, like, <laughs> and after that, like, the, all I wanted to do, uh, like, I, I, my, we, I wanted to go home, like, after that, because I was just, Fucking Tyler, the rest of the time, didn't go back to the bathroom. He just shit and pissed his pants. <laughs> the whole rest of the time. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, that's that's fucking... Dump it back in the forest. Yeah, that's crazy. Holy shit. But, like, that was, like, the only time. Like, that, that was, like, my, one of my earliest memories because I was, like. Well, I know it's crazy. We were talking about, like, memo- like, like shit that's, like, fun and, like, memorable, and Tyler's getting into some dark satanic shit that you remember <laughs> being a kid. Like, we're like, that one time I pooped all over my neighbor's driveway, and then like, the one time <laughs> yeah. I saw the three of them, oh, yeah, that was just me, huh? No one else in their neighbor's driveways? I was the only one? I mean, I... Sh- you. <laughs> I, I mean, I have shit outside before, but now my neighbor's <laughs> <laughs> oh. I honestly shit outside last night of my apartment. Right off the balcony. I'm shitting out my window right now. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thanks for your input, Mom. He walked yeah, thank you. A ritual. Thank yeah. you. Sweet. They all said thank you. Who's now? It's uh, Frank, Tyler, Jason, and his girl. Love you guys. Love you too. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> that was, that was, um, I, I'm going to say for the podcast purposes, Mama Baker, because I'm going to expose her last name. But Mama Baker, everybody. Um, all right, who's next on the podcast? Who we bring it in? Guys, right. feel free to phone in at 708-666-6666. We're taking callers soon about Tyler's weird satanic fucking rituals he goes and does. <laughs> I, I, I was sitting there like fucking reclined back, just like listening to you guys talk, and I just heard, I'm sure John knows about the hooded people. Oh, yeah, fucking Ku Klux Klan, dude. Like, <laughs> you know, a lot of, my next door neighbor. <laughs> um. Anyways. Okay, did you guys know that, but like they sell cases of Bud Light and it's <laughs> and it's what? Hello. It, Why are you FaceTiming me? Better care than seeing that satanic ritual. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I also just realized that Jason and, uh, muted his mic. You know, you know, just uh, great to see that diabetics can see ghosts too. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks to the caller number twelve that decided to uh, come in. He sounded like a great guy, <laughs> dude. That was so good because he Facetimed me. I said, "What the fuck is he doing?" And I looked and I like the second he an- I answered, I said, "Why are you Facetiming me?" 
<laughs> and then he just started talking. Okay. Um. Actually, guys, we have our uh, next caller. In. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the um dry as hell podcast. You are now on. Um. So yeah, I heard Tyler's story. Um. About some kind of like shadow <laughs> figures, something. Shadow know. figures. Yeah, shadow figure. I don't know. You know, being on the radio makes me a little nervous. You know, but um. Yeah, I pretty much. Uh, I've seen that shadow figure one time, and it just happened to be a uh, nine foot long corn dog chilling in the uh, corner of my room. I don't know exactly how it got there, but it, it still gives me memories. Hold on, of, hold on, hold on. Know, hold on. My, uh, this guy had a my... nine foot long corn dog. <laughs> hey, buddy, buddy, if you I'm could sorry, hear I got me, distracted. Uh, if you could hear me, buddy, was there mustard on the corn dog? Uh, there was indeed mustard on the corn dog. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Carry on, carry All right. On. Uh, well, thank you guys for having me. Oh, uh, thanks for calling in. All right. All right. Take it easy. It was great. It was great talking. Kind of. Wow, that guy sounded like a fucking dogs. loser. <laughs> like a nine foot corn dog. Dude, what that's what hell? I'm saying. That guy was that's weird insane. as fuck. Okay, hey guys, we have our uh, next caller, and actually, um. Oh God. Hello, are you are uh, you are now on the Dry as Hell podcast. Um. Hey, uh, I'd just like to, to, to say that, that, that the diabetic camp thing, um, um, he, he sounds like a pussy. <laughs> oh, he didn't even yeah. want to fucking, he didn't want to, you know, fucking say bye or anything? <laughs> Yo, dude, what the fuck, man? That guy was a dick. Yeah, honestly, what the fuck? He just came in out of nowhere and just calling people pussies. Yeah, what the fuck? That guy's an asshole. What an asshole. Yeah. Ella, what was your first memory? My first memory or my greatest memory? Your first one. My first memory was I had a, a seizure. Uh, oh. Three, two or three? Okay. And, uh, maybe we should yeah, ask what your greatest one was. <laughs> my greatest memory as a kid? Yeah. Um, so me and my brothers used to play this game, and we were poor, okay? We lived in, like, my grandparents' basement apartment thing. So we didn't have a lot to do. And so we played this game called Tornado. And basically, I would get under the... <laughs> probably abuse, now that I think about it. But I used to get under, like, five comforters. And then they would take, like, all the stuff in the room and all the toys and everything in the closet and just throw it at me. And then they would yell Tornado. But it was a good time. On some real shit. I um I turned my microphone off and called Frank. <laughs> and he, went and he goes, "Hello," and I was like, "I just wanted to call and tell you I love you." <laughs> He's like, <laughs> okay. and I was like, I was like, I muted my microphone. I was like, they don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that. Um, that <laughs> he had some. What? Um, I said I don't know how they're getting cars on a drive. What? <laughs> What's uh, error 404, Mike's, or John's mic is, uh, is mic. Error, error, we're back. <laughs> we're back. It was tweaking for a second. Jesus Christ, John. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what that sounds like. No, it's gonna, it sounds really bad. <laughs> it was just straight ear fucking. Yeah. It was because my audio interface had to reboot back up. Those are words. Those mean things. <laughs> Uh, just you know oh 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 there we go um meanwhile ella is recorder is uh through her phone on her airpods free Whoa. airpods i didn't Whoa. buy airpods they free were free air wait who free? Buys free airpods Kylie? oh you're just Whoa. that rich oh. you're just that rich that you don't need to buy airpods they wow. just give them to our. Wow. Hey, can I have your social security number? No. <laughs> um, and, an and another thing, too. Ella, how's Animal Crossing going? Uh, I'm catching a lot of bugs. Hey, Try Ella, you should, you should play right with now. Morgan. You should play with Morgan. <gasps> okay, I got stung by a... Okay, wait, okay. So, I meant to ask about this. Did the previous Animal Crossings... Were they wasps or bees? They... That stung you were bees i think because now they're wasps oh hell no <laughs> and that's just weird but yeah i'll play with morgan 
Yeah, I, I, I'm already on the second upgrade for my house. Okay, no need to show off. Uh, I'm flexing. Yeah, by cheese. Hey, listen, Frank. Exactly, thank you, Frank. Fucking <laughs> time Yo, traveling. you're a cheater, bro. Liar. Yeah, I time, I'm a time traveler. I, I classify myself as a time traveler. Whatever. Because <laughs> that's essentially what I'm doing in the game. So I'll tell you a story about uh, one of the most memorable slash... Oh, we're still talking about this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, go for it. We ain't even, we're just talking now. Yeah, we're, we're just bullshitting. Oh, well, all right. Well, I guess, um, yeah, so th this might have been around when I was, I think, seven years old. Oh, yeah? I'm just going to guess around seven. But I yeah. went to a barbershop. Oh, sick. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> went to a barbershop to get my hair cut you know being young and stuff you're of course scared and Aww. i remember getting the this barber you sound like a he, bitch bro he was an eight foot tall corn dog with mustard Did they cut your ear because that's happened <laughs> yeah uh, yeah he was not an eight foot corn dog <laughs> he was a nice nine guy. foot nine foot corn dog. how do you wow dude that sounds nine. amazing nine foot anyways um yeah so he um he was i think it had to have been around 70 or 80 years old cutting hair. And I remember him going to cut no my hair. Vision. And no, like he, he was shaking. Like I, I think he, no. was a, it was like Parkinson's, like where your like hands yeah. are like, so he was shaking like constantly. Really and, and I was terrified of that, not just getting my hair cut, but I was ter terrified of that because, um, you know, I could like feel his hands. Off. Oh, just wait. So, yeah, so uh, he, his hands were shaking, like, really bad. So I was crying, and my family was like, stop crying. Like, it's just a haircut. You know, you, you'll be fine. And I was trying to <laughs> explain to them. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck is Tyler, that? Tyler, what the fuck, dude? Oh, my <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> I heard Frank start trying not to laugh. What the fuck was that? That is the most disturbing thing. Is that a fucking potato? I don't know. It looks like a peach. I don't know. What is on it? Honey? Hey, I'm going to make that a, a Tyler. I'm going to use it as my wallpaper engine thing so I can make it a moving oh. background on my computer. Oh, no. All right, oh, I, I said, wait, pause. I said, wait, is that it literally says peach gif in the fucking URL thing. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Oh. Like, continue. I, I oh. like that people in the podcast don't aren't even going to fucking know. Like, no. Not no, not at all. This, this podcast has been all over the place. <laughs> yeah. You that might one, have to edit some of this out. <laughs> no, no, no. Everything's staying. Oh, one. gosh. That's lazy. All right. <laughs> it's very lazy, yeah, so... but hey. Um, yeah, so he was shaking a lot, and, you know, I, I kept telling my family, like, you know, I'm scared, I'm scared, and they're like, oh, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. So he goes to, like, cut my hair, right, and he's he's starting to, like, get the hair, like, around my ears and stuff, and he ended up clipping my ear, literally, like, the top part of my ear, and sliced it to the point where I was just bleeding, just all the way down, like, the side of my face, and my family then, like, realized <laughs> that, that, that it was just serious. Like, yeah, it was very serious. And um yeah, after that they he finished up cutting my hair. They gave me a he lollipop and I had to walk out with like gauze. <laughs> yeah, I finished the haircut. And, uh, Did they make you pay? Oh, I don't know. They'll don't be know. like uh -huh. they'll be like, here you go. Sorry for chopping out half your body, but uh You might not grow it back, who knows? Yeah. I mean yeah. I don't know. The the top of my ear, there's like like, I don't know, I guess you could faintly feel, like, a little, like, indentation in, like, the skinny part of the top of my ear. I don't know, but I, uh, I can't really remember if, you know, if the right or left ear, I don't know. But it was just, it was crazy. I even, I told my dad about it, and he, he got really, <laughs> he got really, um, um, what is it, surprised when I told him about that, because he didn't think that I remembered that. Do you know and how I told him, hard yeah, it is? Do you know how that was hard childhood it is to trauma. concentrate when the fucking Discord <laughs> chat is blowing up? <laughs> fucking shit. Like, I can feel you trying to, like, think of where you're leaving off in the story because yeah. of all the shit that's going on in the fucking chat. 
It's just like, the most random things. Dude, that fucking peach one hit me hard. <laughs> it was like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want really to, <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. Like, I was just like, oh, Rick, funny, haha. But then, like, the more I watched it, the more, like, the hair stood up on my fucking arms. <laughs> I, was like, I need to fucking say something that's pissing me off. <laughs> oh, my God, that was fucking rough. <laughs> um... <laughs> Alright, how do we bounce oh, back from this one? Does anyone wanna does anyone wanna talk about anything? Ew. Uh, <laughs> 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 the fucking head following it. So what what's your guys' favorite game to play right now? PSO2. PSO2. What is that? Alright. Tyler, take it away. Oh, no, yeah. Frank, you take it away. You do this You're one. ready to sit here for Don't hour. worry, I'll take it away. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no one is. All right, so PSO2, right, is a sequel to Fantasy Star Universe. PSO1, I'm assuming. Uh, it's no, like PSU. You. PS, P, yeah, oh, my PS, bad. U. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first one was PSU, which is Fantasy Star Universe. Then the second one came out, and they named it Fine 2. And pretty much the game is an MMO, like, RPG, you know, and it's, I guess you would consider it as, yeah, like a anime MMO, but it's like, like, we're kind of past the anime part of it, where, you know, we, we've been playing the first one, like, since we were, like, kids, and yeah. then they shut down the servers, so no one else was able to play it at all, so that game just pretty much got, like, deleted. And but then, like, like seven, heard of it again. seven, eight years later, we found something online. It was called Clementine, but uh, someone like made servers for the game again and like like coded everything back into it, so we can play it. And so we played that for a little bit, and then they announced that PSO two was coming to Xbox. So we kind of gave up on that, and now the beta's out for uh, PSO two. And so we were just sitting there playing that. We, me and Frank, were literally playing it before we hopped on here. Nice. Yeah. It's honestly and, it is. And we're probably and we're probably gonna play it after. <laughs> yeah. I was exactly. gonna say we're probably really privileged to even hear you guys right now. Oh yeah, it's very it's much. It's not like we're, podcast. We're not like itching to play it. It's just like you know, it's just different because no, we're it's, so it's like chill. it's casual. You know, we were taking all of our time and putting it into that. You Yo, know, and then you can gamble. Here, we're like, let's get this going. It's one of the only games that you can like, legit gamble. And it's weird because it's like the game kind of almost like, you know, it, it would almost be like going for like the demographic of like maybe younger kids and stuff. But like, dude, that game's got a full on casino with slot machines. Uh, and strippers? Black freight. No, no. Uh, unless you consider <laughs> birds. <laughs> unless you consider birds uh, strippers. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What? Um, it's just little birds. What the fuck? They're like they're like very large okay, birds wait. with rappies. If you if you around. if you guys look in the chat, you can see that I, I posted a little that. bird thing. Yeah, that that's from the game. But it's not uh, a stripper, just for the record. Oh, the uh, yellow bird. I think I'm talking about this damn penguin. No. <laughs> 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 okay. My thing is, when are we gonna play? Uh, it's either Frank or Tyler that's gonna play with me. That's John, I we... I've been waiting for you. Okay, you've been apparently too invested in this I game. You guys are waiting to play. No, I have nothing you, to play with. You told me you were going to take a nap the other day, and then I was like, all right, let me know when you want to get on, and you never let me know. And then I found out I that you play Call of Duty. Nap. This sounds like sleeping. a conversation that shouldn't happen. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh all the stress. <laughs> and honestly, and I've been waiting to play it, John. Yeah, we're going to play what it. What game? Uh, we were here together. It's um, it's a multiplayer, like two person game, and um, from what I saw from like the like the gameplay, I didn't watch the whole thing. I just like they have like a they show you how the game works. You're like two people, and like you guys get separated, and it's like a puzzle game. And um, wait, no, you guys I've like talk through walking, talk. You've played it. I feel like I've played that. No, you I haven't. haven't. It's on PC. I watched it. Or on Steam, rather. Mm. Yeah, I, I have Steam. Steam. You don't know my life. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, you play, uh, you play Animal Crossing. That's right. You're a pro gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, show some respect. Hey, listen. She probably outmatched all of us in Stardew. Oh, I. Oh, I yeah, know that game. I never now. played the game. What? <laughs> Stardew Valley? Yeah, no, I never. I don't know that. what that is. It's like wow. Terraria. I used to play it in class because there was nothing to do. It's like if Terraria and uh, Minecraft made a kid. Don't 
Don't bring it in the same league as Minecraft. Minecraft Why? Minecraft shit. is cool as fuck. Yeah. It's not the same. It's gonna be cooler when it has ray tracing and yeah, like cool lighting effects where it makes it look yeah. like a modern game. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I have seen videos of that shit. It's so nice looking. I'm I'm stoked. Doesn't that for it. change? Isn't Minecraft the part of the appeal, like that style? Yeah. Yeah, that's but Frank doesn't good. understand that he wants realistic. Um, yeah, but like I, you know, I like the game, but I also don't at the same time. I'm just right. not really. No, you a hate the game that style. You hate the game. It's okay. It's a decent <laughs> game. Okay, then let's go. Let's hop after this. Okay. Hey, hey, guys, 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 guys. Well, I know that I did buy today though. What? What? GTA Five. Oh, finally. Yeah, right. Hey, I know it's on sale for fifteen dollars. Uh, it's it's free oh, if you have the Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> well, it's free if you also shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, wait. So I shut the fuck up. I yeah, you get, you, you, get, you get anything you want. You get actually oh you get you get the beta for GTA 6 <laughs> if you shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> the Chicago GTA. Okay. No, dude, that'd be so... I'm out of vodka. I'm done. Yep, I'm John, done. that was for you. <laughs> Hear me almost throw up. Yeah. <laughs> that is kind of like, why are you in my Google search history right now? <laughs> <laughs> why are you in my Google search? God, wait, that's a I thought I was in incognito mind. mode. <laughs> oh my god! For some reason, that one's not as bad as the peach. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, like, Dude, I'm saying. It's I think like, it's because it's like. Maybe because uh, one's an ass and one's a vagina. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, we got <laughs> nobody that listens to these podcasts. No, <laughs> well, maybe we'd have people if you guys shared it. You know what it is? The peach one is in slow motion. And it gives is you it time to get uncomfortable. The it other is. one is just fast. You're like, whatever. Oh, what? No, it's kind of like, imagine <laughs> if someone took their finger and just slowly slid it down your booty crack. Like, and like, yeah, like no, really, you. like really slow. Like, Stay away. I I found out um that uh the males have a G spot in their. You're just now finding. Really? You just out? found that out. Yeah, really, I, Frank. Uh, yeah, Jesus I, Christ, you virgin. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, I, hey, hey, listen. My Sorry. dad showed me that when I was five. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I found that out the other day, oh, just God, kind of browsing, God, and someone just posted. Did a you stick your own finger in your butt, right. Frank? <laughs> oh, my God, no. Why not, dude? I did really not, not, I did not run to, to my bathroom to go try it. What's so wrong, what would be wrong with trying it, dude? Yeah, well, it's <laughs> 2020, wrong? dude. We can't, we can't not try things. Yeah, well, I ain't lubing myself up to fuck myself hey. up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, like, Frank forgets that he invites us over. We all go there, open up the front door. He's just butt naked, covered in baby oil. <laughs> hey, with his, with his fist in his ass. <laughs> oh, no. His whole, his whole fist. He runs to his bedroom with his fist <laughs> in his ass. You hear the My music ass. slide in the background? My ass. <laughs> Stoofy, smell my finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? My <laughs> ass. <laughs> All right, though. Fucking sight to see. Are you guys Are you guys ready to wrap this up? Um, yeah. What, Why what, is what, it about that time? time? Yeah, it's about that time. It's It's All 54 right. minutes. Oh shit! That was All fast. Right. Yeah. I we got absolutely nowhere in this. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, we didn't at all. <laughs> no, that's the thing though. Like, it could also just involve us talking. I mean, why not? Like, yeah, yeah why not? You know, we're Who needs doesn't always have time to be... doesn't exist it's just... anymore. We're quarantined. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. It just so. sucks because I'd like what to do I it more IRL. Do, honestly, is I want to like start recording us doing this shit, right? But like all of us on camera. Yeah, I do too. That, that's what sorry. can go to YouTube. Yeah, that'd be cool. So yeah. you can see all of us hanging out and like some like I can have because I can have like I'm sure all of us can but I like, I have my theater set up so where if I'm cammed up I, I I can fucking screen share my PC so like the shit that we're looking at on Discord that no one else is gonna know what, at all what we're talking about like they'd be able to see which I'm sure disc or fucking YouTube would shut this down instantly. oh yeah hundred <laughs> percent you can't yeah. even say Corona oh really I mean, oh yeah they'll like take it down or. Give you a strike oh. or whatever. Hey, Logan is. Paul's about to be all over that shit. <laughs> Look at this guy that died from Corona. What a pussy. <laughs> oh yeah, God. exactly. Just shut down his whole channel. He's going to be like, I'm 
I'm apologizing to the public about. I changed. Uh, I changed. Yeah. Changed. I'm like, I'm, I'm Guys, sorry. I've just been sitting here looking at this peach because it's I just have. sitting there replaying on my screen, and I'm just. I, you I'm like just, it. I am. Ella. <laughs> Ella. Ella, I'm Ella on and Tyler got very <laughs> quiet. Very quiet. <laughs> oh, no. I was just. I was just that that happy though. that I'm looking at food. <laughs> <He's docking>. That's true. <laughs> Um, all right, though. Uh, so we're gonna end it. Um, Wait, you I guys... have good news. Oh, okay. What's your good news? My museum in Animal Crossing just opened. Ooh, and yes, I said Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hey, wait, uh, do, my fa- do my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> all That's right. Such a good sound. So this has just been. Five random people talking about nonsense for the last hour. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks yeah, for, thanks listening. for listening, everyone. I love um, you. If you if you guys made it this far, uh, comment down below. Um, Actually, if you make it this far, comment down below with some topics you'd want us to talk about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel like that's a great idea. Or like, whenever we do decide to start um advertising it, like if me and Jason and Frank start advertising. Whenever that'll be. I um, mean, Frank has. Um, whenever I decide to start advertising. There we go. Yes, that would, that would help tremendously <laughs> well, between you, you think, and Jason. Why do you think it would help tremendously with me? I don't know. Well, not Okay, not tremendously. I'm just saying with like, you with more people. Jason, you have just, just different be- people. Just because I'm famous doesn't mean anything. It, not because not, I'm famous. No, not John, famous. John, 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 John. <laughs> That's the whole reason you're here is because you're famous. Don't, don't make it sound That's like true. you're using him. He's no, not. He's, <laughs> that's why they're friends with me what are you talking i ask him for money all the time what are you yeah doing? i'm not using him john never has money come on because i might be drunk all right <laughs> you might. um so she falls and hits the floor let me let me hear her fucking... like 20 minutes ago <laughs> yeah, can, we, can, can, can we can we finish this yeah. okay all right tyler go sorry, sorry. all right so Bye. anyway this has been the dry as hell podcast we'll talk to you later peace out <laughs> Bye. Deuces. Bye. Bye. Bye.